Hi guys, it's Chippy from ultrabooknews.com here and in this video I've got a pretty special product to show you. It's uh, something you're never going to be able to buy and you'll never see a full review of it because um, actually anyone that has this is under NDA right now and it is a developer preview uh, of the next generation Ultrabook. Um, this is uh, an Ivy Bridge Ultrabook with touch, Windows 8 and a whole bunch of sensors inside. And we've got it as part of the Ultimate Coda Ultrabook Challenge, a, co a competition that's being run by Intel. You can see information on, on our website and on Intel's website where over the next six weeks developers, uh, six developer teams are building software for this very platform. And as a judge, myself and three others uh, get this to uh, basically test the software out on. We're also allowed to show you the device, uh, do a few demos. I can't tell you uh, exactly what's inside it, although a lot of details have been released already and a lot of the details will be pretty obvious. So I'm going to do an unboxing of this now and just show you around and give you an idea of what a touch Windows 8 sensor packed Ultrabook is going to look like when they launch in October 2012. Let's take a look. Okay, let's have a look at this. It's, um, it's a reference design, as I mentioned. So this is not something you're going to be able to buy in the shop. So what Intel, Intel have done is uh, created a design that allows developers uh, and soft, uh, independent software vendors to develop their software before the next generation of Ultrabooks launch uh, with Windows 8 in October. It's also here as a device that's obviously going to show up at uh, trade shows. Uh, so you're likely to see this in a lot of demos. Um, I mentioned again NDA, I can't tell you exactly what's inside this in terms of components but we already know it's an Ivy Bridge Core i7 Ultrabook with touch, five finger multi-touch, uh, we've got um, a whole bunch of sensors inside, we've got GPS, we've got compass, we've got magnemometer, we've got a uh, gyroscope and all sorts of stuff. Um, so obviously as this isn't a production uh, device. The packaging is, is fairly basic, although actually a little bit nicer than I thought it might be. This hasn't been opened by us yet. Uh, don't expect to see any uh, CDs and safety notices and anything in here. This is probably just the power here. Yeah, this is the power unit here. But let's go straight into the device and uh, take a look around it and uh, let me talk a little bit around some of the features that you'll see in these devices uh, come Windows 8 launch in uh, October 2000. So, let's just take this out of the uh, packaging here. It is branded Ultrabook. And it looks like no one's actually had their hands on this one yet. Let me just take all the paper and packaging off. It's a device we're going to have for a while. Uh, we're under NDA. At the moment, eventually, I'll probably be able to uh, give you some performance uh, information on this one. But uh, those of you that are paying attention to Ivy Bridge uh, Ultrabooks, you'll, you'll know the performance differences between this and the first generation of Ultrabooks with uh, with Sandy Bridge. Actually, very nicely finished device. It's uh, it's supposed to be a reference design, and I think I saw a version of this at uh, CBIT 2012 this year, in March. And again, um, when I was there, I said it looked very complete, as almost almost like it could actually be, be sold. Uh, but uh, I don't think you're going to see this on the shelves. But anyway, let's have a look around at the device. Um, it is nice and light. It's not super light. It's not as light as that. Um, Z80, Z, sorry, Z830 behind me there, which is 1.1, I'm guessing 1.3, 1.4 kilos here. Ivory Bridge Core i7 inside, SSD. This is a rubberized finish on the top with a really smart, a really smart uh, Ultrabook rubberized raised uh, logo there, which is really, really nice. Intel logo on the, on the bottom right there. Um, and uh, ooh, <laughs> well, there's a bunch of stickers on the bottom. I, get, I dare say they are warnings for lack of safety, um, approval, etc., etc. Let's just have a look in, in the device. And this is the touch screen here, five finger multi touch on this. We've got a webcam. And let me give you uh, the details on the actual sensors that are in this. We have got, and I'm reading this from script GPS, gyro, accelerometer, ambient light sensor, compass. NFC, so Near, near Field uh, Communications, is in this one. Obviously we've got the trackpad, 
uh, and the webcam. Um, Windows 8 installed on this as well, so we're going to get a good feel for, for how this uh, works with Windows 8. Um, it isn't the highest quality finish on the actual uh, casing there, but remember that's not so important in this case, is it? Power button in the middle, speakers left and right, keyboard, actually not, not too bad at all actually, uh, separate mouse pad and mouse buttons, mouse buttons nothing to get too excited about. We've got USB 3 here, we've got an Ethernet no, this is a mini HDMI port here, power in there. On the other side, another USB 3 and a headphone port there. It's not a, no removable battery on there. And just uh, out of shot there, I'll tell you what's on the back. A whole load of warnings uh, from the um, software development uh, team of uh, Intel. Nothing there that uh, tells us anything special. Core i7-3667U is the processor inside. So let's uh, switch it on and uh, see if it works. So here we are, we've logged in to Windows 8 uh, with my Hotmail account and everything seems to be syncing up. Uh, slowly, important things to show you is that the uh, multi-touch is working. It's a glossy screen here but um, this is a developer. Oh, there's some really old photos there. Very smooth. Uh, Windows 8 I've found to be pretty smooth on most platforms actually. Um, I've even tested it on Atom and um, it's pretty damn quick. So everything's working there. There's the, uh, the desktop. Here's my website. If you need to know more, Ultraboot News. Oh, that's. Nice and smooth to zoom in there as well. Um, if you need to know more about Ultrabook News and the Ultimate Coder Ultrabook Challenge, check out ultrabooknews.com. There's also information on uh, the Intel website as well. But that's about it for just showing you quickly around the um, developer preview of the touchscreen sensor packed. Windows 8 Ultrabook um, that will be coming to shops in about October 2012. We're using this to, to judge uh, software that's being developed for the uh, Ultimate Coder Ultrabook Challenge which is going on over the next five or six weeks and uh, you'll see us testing out various bits of software and uh, I'll be very interested to see what the development teams uh, actually come up with for a device like this. It's really really exciting to see touch on a very high quality laptop here and to think about the way the sensors are going to be uh, going to be used. The, let's see how um, how the uh, pricing is going to be of course in, in October that might uh, be well it's not going to be low cost but it's going to be um, premium I think to start with uh, before we before we see um, devices going uh, mainstream uh, there's going to be different uh, styles of touchscreen device as well you won't just get the laptop style you get removable screens uh, so you have a tablet style as well um, you'll also have convertibles and um, I'm sure there'll be slider versions as well so this is Chippy with ultrabooknews.com. Thanks for watching. Check out ultrabooknews.com for more info on Ultrabooks. We've got the Ultrabook database. And of course, don't forget to check us out on Twitter, Google+, and on Facebook. Thank thanks to Intel for sending this uh, developer preview Ultrabook to us. And good luck to everyone in the uh, Ultimate Coder Ultrabook Challenge.